Hi everyone, my name is Kaif. I'm a security enthusiast who has recently started his cloud security journey. I'm currently working as a security engineer at Atlassian doing all kinds of application security stuff. Recently, I have passed my AWS Cloud Practitioner Certificate and lots of people has asked me for advice on how I prepared and how I passed that. So I'm here to share what resources I used, how long it took me to prepare and some cost effective ways to get the certification yourself. So let's get started. First things first, preparing for the exam. The key two things that uh, helped me pass this exam the most was knowing the content and doing lots of practice exams. So we'll focus first with the content. The content can be really vast and uh, not all of them is necessary for and relevant to the exam. So it's vital to have a good source to learn from. AWS themselves provide free training. I'll drop the link below, which is pretty good. However, I personally used a cloud guru to prepare for my exams. For this certification in particular, their free plan is more than enough in my opinion. I used the pro plan because my workplace supported it and it gives me access to extra practice exams and quizzes, which I really appreciated. However, if I'm doing just this certification, I wouldn't get the pro plan unless I'm looking to do more certifications in the near term or have some cash to burn. If you do end up deciding to go with the pro version, remember that there are significant student discounts to be sure to check, the, check out that. The other free resource I um, got help a lot from is this video series from Free Code Camp, which I enjoyed watching. Even though I didn't end up watching entirety of it, I think it gave me a lot of the essential materials. Next up, the practice exams. The practice exams was one of the most important things I could do for the um, exam itself. Try to do as many as possible. And I found this cheap Udemy course, which had six practice labs, and those were more than enough for me. I'll drop the link for that course below as well. If you can, uh, spending 10 to $20 on the practice tests will be much more worthwhile um, than paying for learning the content because there are so many free stuff out there. Um, and if you really don't have the means to uh, pay for practice exams uh, or practice labs, you can always Google free practice tests. You wouldn't get the full sets or for the full picture, uh, picture but um, if you look hard enough you, and collect them, you'll soon be um, have enough for them. Next, I'll try to answer some of the most common questions I get. First, um, how long did it take me to pass? I prepared for the exam for five to six days and gave my exam on the seventh. Um, I come from a tech background, so it was relatively easy for me to pass. So don't feel bad if you're taking more time, you should definitely do it in your own pace. Were the labs necessary? Um, if you're new to the cloud, I highly recommend doing the ha hands-on lab section, wherever you find it. Just play, out, uh, with, uh, play around with the console and that helps a lot. And most of the things are free anyways. I didn't do personally the labs much because I already had some hands-on uh, experience from before, so it was okay. However, I did some well-architected labs by AWS to gain additional information, and they helped me out a lot. Now, for the last part, tips for the exam. The exam was entirely multiple choice questions, so that was a relief. Um, I'll share some tips that really helped me out um, during the exam and um, so you guys can do it better. Number one, um, reading all the options you have to deduce the correct answer. Sometimes even if you don't know what the question exactly is talking about, reading the options and thinking about them can really give you lots of clues on what the right answer might be. Secondly, if you can, start 30 minutes early because on the day of the exam, you need to check in and you need to do all sorts of activities like showing your desk, uh, showing um, that you have um, everything set up and you need, also need to download a browser and log in, all that stuff. So it's best to start early. And lastly, um, using the flag feature uh, during the exam itself to uh, mark uh, questions you're confused about so you can come back afterwards and tackle them. That was everything from my end. Thank you so much for listening. All the best for your exam and your AWS journey. Um, if you need any other helps or tips uh, for me personally, feel free to reach out uh, on me. The best place would be my LinkedIn or my Twitter. Thank you so much.